Hey everybody, this is Dr. Matt Bergman, and so I'm going to give you a tutorial on how you can use a different generative AI tools to create a rubric. So this is a sample assignment that I've put together, and it's Who Made a Difference? A Historical Hero Essay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply copy this text here and paste it into um, these different tools that I'm going to be using. So first of all, one of the tools that you could use is you could use ChatGPT. That is one of the common tools that you see right here. And I could just say simply, you know, create a, uh, a grading rubric for the following assignment. Now you could do something just like this where you could just paste in the assignment and then have a just a general rubric made and you're gonna see that it's gonna put this together for me. And um, you'll note that it does a great job with the introduction, with the research, uh, with content, uh, et cetera. And so right here, it even grades writing mechanics and the conclusion as well, and overall presentation, which is really nice. Uh, so right here, you could just simply take this essay the way that it is right now. Uh, you could copy and paste it. You could take a screenshot of this, right? Uh, so you could just copy it right here, boom. Now there's other tools out there that might be a little bit more useful for you. And one of the best tools that I see right now is called Magic School AI. Now Magic School AI is completely free. Uh, there is a paid version of it, but you can also use the free version. And if I just type in rubric, you're gonna see right here it says rubric generator. Now, what you can do for this assignment is you can simply put the grade level, and you'll notice that it goes up to university level. Uh, you can put the objectives, assignment description, and right here you can even upload your assignment. And it then provides, uh, give me an exam example what the point scale should be, um, and then any other things. Now for this particular example, I'm just gonna use the exemplar to show you that this is a ninth grade school board persuasive essay. And so hit generate, and voila, here you go. This is the essay assignment right here. And once again, in the free version, you can only copy it. Um, in the paid version, you can actually export it. So what if you don't want the paid version and you wanna be able to export it into something like Google Sheets or even Excel? Well, that's where Gemini and Copilot come in. So Gemini is a great tool that you could use from Google to do the exact same thing. Now I can say, create a grading rubric And I can be even more specific. I could say out of 100 points. Okay, and then I wanna say put this uh, into a table. Actually, I'm gonna say a spreadsheet. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll paste the assignment in there and I'll hit submit. And once I do that, here you go, it's gonna be out of 100 points and you can see right here now i don't like the way that this is set up so one of the things that you can see right here is you can actually go in and you can see different drafts okay who made the essay i like this draft a little bit better uh, but i might not necessarily like the point values but let's say that i do and i really like this i can just simply go down here to the bottom and i could export to google sheets and it'll open up a spreadsheet now, if I don't really like some of the things about this, I might say, well, get rid of the writing mechanics portion and make the overall presentation worth, we'll say, 50 points instead. The more information that I give it, the better it's going to be. And as you can see right here, it's gonna break things down into some different categories. If I want the descriptions to be more simplistic, I can do that as well. But once again, I have these different drafts I can use. And if I don't like them, I can hit refresh. Now let's see the same exact thing right here in Copilot. So Copilot is Microsoft's tool to do a very similar thing. And what I'll do is I'll say, hey, create a grading rubric. Oops with, whoops, for this assignment, with the following grading categories, okay? And we're gonna say, um, we'll say uh, excellent, good, um, 
average and poor, okay? Um, put this assignment in a table, okay? And so I'll go ahead and give it the information that it needs and voila, here we go. I can also upload this. So that's another really great thing that I could possibly do and uh, co-pilot. But as you can see right here, it's using those grading categories that I have here and it's providing me with that rubric. I can export that rubric to Excel. So the, the point is, is that you can use many different tools to create grading rubrics. But essentially, the more information and the more specific you are, the better off you're going to be. So keep that in mind as you're using this tool.